I am a philosopher, musician, and analyst. My name is Andre Davis. I've had an idea in my heart for decades that I have kept to myself. Now, I want to share that idea with you. It's no mystery that as humans, we thrive when cooperation is at the forefront of our efforts. We feel a primal joy. In cooperation, we have evidence that we are not alone in this world. Then why do we recognize and contribute to cooperative community resources so infrequently? Why doesn't this positivity and enthusiasm for positive social engagement remain a priority? Let's answer those questions together. What will it take to empower our communities? Let's learn what it is to Last video in the series, we talked about going to namespace and setting up your, uh, your web hosting and setting up your business email addresses. And this one, we'll talk about Microsoft 365. This is what we've used at Mandela Sun and uh, using Microsoft 365 to um, set up your email addresses, uh, being able to get your email and communicate with others on your team and your customers. After you get Namecheap, you are going to want to get um, some platform that you can get your emails from uh, and communicate. If you're if you're working with somebody else, communicate with other people through. Uh, but even to have a business email address is is. Uh, more professional uh, and you you have a bit of ownership it's kind of nice to have that so you can use whatever platforms you want to run that I prefer Microsoft 365 for business because I use it in my personal life and have used it for ever for as long as as it's, as it's existed I also use it in my professional life because that's what most businesses use is Microsoft products um, you could use uh, Google has um, options and then there are certainly other platforms that are available that you can explore again I used office 365 it works for me um, we have used I think we just got the standard um, yeah and that comes with access to um, all the things that I'm used to uh, Word Excel PowerPoint um, we can set up webinars with this one. Uh, the collaborative workspaces, uh, not so much using Loop, but um, but more using SharePoint to share files. Uh, as we've been building everything, actually everything from that first section of the customer, um, understanding the customer and all the marketing things that went into that. Uh, now I can move that from my own personal file system and I've, I've put that into our SharePoint site so everybody has access to it and can do what they will with it um, yeah and there's some other stuff in here but we got a terabyte of cloud service uh, storage per employee which is great um, we can meet with each other online if we need to which we could do anyway without using teams and Microsoft Office but this just makes it a little bit more streamlined and I think also when you're when you start working in that type of environment, you get a little bit more um, involved with it, more professionally bought in. It doesn't seem like a game or whatever at that point, but that's just some philosophy to go along with that. So setting this all up, you, you buy it, um, and then you set up your username, or you set up your account. It'll have, you start off with like a, whatever you sign in with dot, or at on microsoft.com or something like that um, and then you get to the point of as you're going through it like oh well how do I get this to be my um, business email address so we want it to be mandelasun.com so you just go through the admin stuff and um, 
add your users as need be. So I had to add uh, two other users, the registration, and then the one for Nolan, the other person I'm working with. Uh, and then I had to, after taking those, those after adding those users, then we connected the, uh, the domain name, got that speaking, Microsoft Office 365, speaking to mandalasun.com, the, the domain portion of it. Uh, and then we were able to bring that over into Office 365. Uh, and then do some tweaking there to change the how it looks so that now everything sends out from uh, Andre.Davis at MandalaSun.com uh, versus Andre.Davis at MandalaSun.onMicrosoft.com. So there's some steps to go through. That's all I'm saying. I use ChatGPT to like, iron it all out uh, because there were some things that weren't working. I hit a point where I was... Because Namecheap has, there are two different, or there's DNS type settings that you can put on in there. And uh, one of them allowed me to add the records that I needed to add so that we could email. And one of them allowed me to um, show the website, use the, the domain name in the website and have the website like open up. Uh, but for whatever reason, when I was setting it up initially, it wasn't working right. I don't know if there were more records that I had to add, uh, but I had to go to ChatGPT to figure it out. And even then it was a rough start, but um, do, 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 it answered. And then, yeah, I had to put in some different WWWC name records and there was another record I had to put in there. So you'll learn about this stuff as you go through. And it's not super complicated if you just ask for things from ChatGPT. If you're doing that in a uh, very like step-by-step -step way, uh, avoid asking for broad responses. Uh, just you know specifically call out the things that you want that's a, a tip for ChatGPT that's helped me. Um, but yeah, this gave me the step-by-step -step through and I actually ended up saving it all into a document. Um, right here, absolutely, here's a do-do-do. This was all great information and keep steps worth great. Can you package this up and do an instruction document, which is right here. Um, but it actually didn't come out very good. It wasn't a very good instruction document. I had him do another one at some point but I have that if you're interested in it feel free to leave a comment and ask for that